Live at What has happened during the offseason up till this point? Yeah, break, it, break down the entire offseason um, recruiting. Uh, quite a bit has happened. We've had our golf week, we started team building, uh, mental toughness week, which was real good, real important. Um, a lot of um, conditioning, you know, track and uh, on the court drills and skill work and weights and so forth. And then, of course, start practice October 15th. We just kind of hit the floor running, trying to get ready for uh, actually Saturday or exhibition game. A lot of a different team this year. You, you lose a, a superstar that you had last year, Winnie Randolph. We already talked about that during North Georgia today a few weeks ago and trying to replace her. But it's almost going to be a totally different feel for this team with new players coming in and uh, and some of these returning players as well. But the whole style of this team feels like it's going to have to change from around Winnie Randolph to more of a team type of a feel. Is that is that about the case that it's going to be this year? Oh, yeah. You get the nail on the head. It, it's totally different. Um, you know, uh, head to toe, totally different ball team. Um, you know, with the new players that we brought in, we brought in five, um, and we had six returning um, now on the team and everything. And, and, you know, having Whitney, you know, we did rely on her to score a lot. Now it just seems like overall we have so many more people that can put the ball in the hole, and including some players uh, from last season too, definitely the recruits that are, that are coming in. Tell us about some of these new players coming in and who can we expect to step up. Who might be a surprise this season? Um, you know, Lindsay Moss, we've talked about a little bit. Um, she's here tonight. Uh, she uh, is transferred from the University of Georgia and brings a, a world experience playing in the SEC, one of the, you know, one of the toughest conferences in the nation. And, uh, she uh, is a tremendous score, um, smart, one of the smartest players probably that I've, I've coached. Um, I think she's going to bring a lot um, of experience to the table. And, I think um, you know she's really helped a lot of our young players, and we, we brought in four freshmen, um, so the, she's helped those four freshmen come along too. And what's good about it is, it, along with Lindsay, the four freshmen are going to play. Um, uh, you know, all the way from our, our new point guard um, Bianca O'Neill from Norcross, who won a state championship. She's she's going she's ready to step in, boys ready to go. Um, we're going to put the ball in her hands and, and run with it. Season. Coach, uh, the schedule this year looking very favorable before the new year. Non-conference schedule should be a lot of fun this year. You've got seven home games, just one road game at uh, nearby Truett McConnell after the season gets going with that uh, road trip tomorrow. But, you know, the first half of the year, a lot of home games and a lot of games around Delonica. Talk about yeah. that. And was that a part of your planning is, uh, um, and schedule? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you always, you know, every year you want to get as many home games as you possibly can. And it actually kind of fit this year for us. And uh, we always have our uh, two couple of classics, you know, back to back in November that are real important that gets us four new games. Uh, and then we were lucky enough to get a couple in December too that are, that are going to be real important. So I, and, and we have such a young team too that, and some new players that uh, if you can play on your home court um, and get them, you know, acclimated with, with the D2 and get some of the, the better teams in the, in the nation, then, you know, good things will happen. So yeah, we're happy absolutely. about that. One exhibition game for your bunch here this year, and that game being against Barry coming up here this weekend. How important is it to get that exhibition game under your belt? It is real important, and um, you know we we have all the respect in the world for Barry College's program. I mean, uh, we go back you know years and years to playing them um, in the old NAI league and everything, and uh, just you know watching a little film on them. They're just such a hard nosed team, and uh, they press a lot, and they're just so fundamentally sound. And it's going to be so good for our team to play against somebody like that because we'll we'll see so much of that in the Peach Belt, um, and so it'll be able to expose some of our weaknesses, and we'll get to work on the things that we've been working on here for so long. So we're, we're real excited to get it, get the ball tipped off and go. Weekly. Coach, let's talk about some of the numbers from last year. Finished fourth last year in scoring offense, 69 points a game, but defensively 10th in scoring in the conference. How important is defense this year? Oh, God, it's, it's, I can't even put enough emphasis on that. And we, we watched film the day before practice, and, and we had a lot of, you know, got a little bit of heart to heart talk with our team about that today. Um, there's got to be, you know, a lot more intensity this year on the defensive end. We know that um, in order to be great, a great team, we have to do it on the defensive end. Like I said, we can put some points up, but in order to be great, we get, definitely got to do it on the defensive end. We're looking offensively, you know, at 69 to me um, is low. We want to we want to make sure we're getting up there, you know, high 70s, 80s, and you know, try to try to be better than last year. Style of coaching. Bill and Delonica has a question, and, and uh, Bill asked, do, "Do your players adapt to your coaching, or does your coaching adapt to your players?" I know this is a question that can they can go towards any coach in America in any yeah, sport, sure. but for you, what? Uh, how does your coaching style work for your players? It's probably a little bit of both. Um, you know, you always got to get used to the coach, and the coach has to get used to the players. Um, so it's kind of a little bit 
a little bit of both. Probably depends on the player, sure, too. It yeah. sure does, yeah. But um, definitely, I mean, I'm not going to change a whole lot. So, I mean, we, you know, we're still, I'm still going to be the same person with whoever we bring in. And uh, um, just get used to the player and the player getting used to me and um, and how we do things. You know, it's been it's been great. All the players so far this, this year have just been great attitude, great effort. Um, those are two things, you know, you shouldn't ever have to, to coach. And they should always bring that. So, um, as long as they're doing that, then. Everything's gold. Everything's well, if that's the case, Coach, you, your team has always had a lot of hustle. So if that's your mentality, then they definitely are following your style of coaching. Uh, Bill and Jessica, thank you so much for the uh, questions. And folks, as always, email us, saintsbroadcast at yahoo.com. Or coming out here to Johnny B's every week uh, for Lady Saints Hoops Weekly. Go Probably the biggest number that jumps out to me negatively from this team last year has to be in the turnover department. The turnover margin, minus 4.42, bottom of the, uh, the barrel in the Peach Belt Conference. Was that, do you think, more of a problem with offense turning the ball over or defense not getting enough takeaways? Um, you know, it, it could be a little bit of both. I really honestly think it had to do um, with – with offense, uh, you know, I mean, we honestly were lackadaisical with the ball a lot of times, and, and uh, it, it just seemed like it didn't matter what we did in practice, how much we ran, it just didn't ever seem to be enough, and never got corrected. And uh, so that's one thing that uh, we were talking about earlier while Coach Falker was on. Uh, you know, that that's one thing that we haven't had to really deal with um, during practices, which has been you know, real exciting. Um, you know, so hopefully we put a lot more emphasis on taking care of the ball, and, and you know, you can win as long as you're. You know, not giving the ball away to the other team and giving them more possessions. Right. Last year, the team at the free throw line, as everybody knows, one of the best around. And it seems like year in and year out, the ladies are some of the best at the free throw line. How do you find more trips to the free throw line? Is that something you work on, trying to drive the paint and get to the line? Definitely. Yeah, you, we have to. We, we need to establish that early in the game, just trying to get to the free throw line, trying to get the bonus you know, as fast as possible. And so getting more attempts up, um, you know, every, every ball game is going to be big for, especially you know, our better free throw shooters. And stuff. And so, yeah, um, our, the way our offense is designed is to get the ball to hold first. And so if we do that, then you know, hopefully we can get there and, and get you know a lot of attempts in even before halftime. So we'll go from there, so. All right, Coach. Well, Barry's coming up on Saturday. Folks, be sure to head on out to Memorial Hall and take in that great <laughs> exhibition game. And Coach, best of luck from there. And uh, we'll see you here next week, and hopefully we'll be talking about an exhibition win. Sounds great. Thanks Thank so much.